Hello everybody, this is Alex from Nisbet here, and today we're going to be talking about the order entry portion of work orders. Now, the best way to think of work orders is going to be basically anything that you manufacture. Um, and so in this video, we're going to be covering order entry specifically for countertops, uh, because I know that order entry and manufacturing have separate jobs here. Um, so to start, we're going to enter a quote. So go up here to quote. Pick whoever your customer is. It's going to make you pick a job address. And a customer reference. We'll do an old Falcon number just for good practice. Okay, so we're going to have a few work order generating SKUs. And those will be linked to this video and also distributed amongst the order entry staff and everybody else as well. Um, the first one that comes to mind, however, is for PFM top, and it is WOPFM. WO standing for work order, and PFM obviously stands for post form. And we're going to select enter. And so you'll see that it wants to add a special line to this quote, and it's going to create this new ZZ special top. So you're going to hit next. And here's where you can add your description. I'm just going to write test. Uh, so description you can make as long as you want. Your short description, which is doesn't necessarily matter, it's going to cut off at a certain point, but don't worry. As long as your description up here uh, is correct and has all the information, you'll be fine. Um, the sell and buy obviously will be determined based on uh, the components of the work order. So we'll select next. And so here you can see that our finished product tab is going to open up first, and this is our ZZ special SKU, ZZ WOPFM 36, and it is the test. <coughs> and the first thing you're going to do is make sure that we've got a quantity on this ZZ special. I'm just going to put one, hit OK. And the next step for order entry is to move over here to general and make sure that the machine group is set to WMS so that it can communicate with WMS and the machine is going to correlate with whatever you're making with this work order in this case post form we're going to select PF and I'll have a list of these acronyms available as well the next step here is going to be to go up to source material and for order entry of these countertops we're just going to be putting a placeholder in here for manufacturing to then remove and replace with real source material. So we're just going to go to add and the SKU that we're going to use for a placeholder is called remove so that manufacturing knows to remove it. Hit enter. It's going to say placeholder. <coughs> You're going to want a quantity of one and select OK. So now this is in as source material and again it's just a placeholder. Your next step is going to be to go up here to costing and this is what will link the source material to the finished product in WMS. So come up here, you'll select this, right here the checkbox, and you'll hit OK. The next thing you're going to do is complete the works order. It's going to give you a work order number. Again, this is going to be attached to the quote, so don't worry. You can find it if you know what the quote number is once we're done. And we're going to finish adding this special line. And there's our ZZ WO PFM 36. And so, so now because this is just a placeholder and source material and labor has not been added to the work order yet, we're not going to worry too much about the pricing. We're going to select OK and move through these errors. Again, this won't be exactly the same pricing-wise as we're going to see it go live, but this is just an example. <clears throat> and so then to complete this quote, we're going to come up to Complete. Uh, it's going to make me add a follow-up, just do date and time, hit OK, and then complete. No, I do not want to add a delivery charge, and finish. Quote number 215. Okay, do not want to print. Okay, so let's go over to quotes. That's in Find Documents is this quotes view. Hit go, and there's our 215. If we wanted to right click and go to related documents, it'll show our work order up here. But now let's say I want to flip this quote over to an order. I'm going to go into the quote <clears throat> and I'm going to come up here to accept and accept the entire quote to an order. 
And as I said in the previous video, sometimes it'll minimize down here. So just be careful with that. So here's the new sales order window. We're going to hit complete. Zero price is correct. No delivery charge. And the first thing you're going to notice <coughs> is that it's updated this work order 149. And that is the same one that's associated with the quote. But what it'll do is it'll push the quote work order to 150 and put it in save status. I'll show you that in a second. But this is going to be your actual work order number. So hit OK. You do not want to print at this time. And if I were going to go back into this quote, right click to related documents, you'll see that work order is now 150 for this quote. But now that we have an actual order here, 1670, that's going to now take the work order 149. And that concludes order entry for countertops for work orders. And we'll see you guys in the next video.